Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is March 18th, 2021. It's 11 a.m. Uh, Canada, US, West Coast time, PST, PDT, Pacific time. And we started another set of comic book readings. We've got five comic books here to choose from. Okay. There is uh, two of these are from our comic book reading set number four that we sort of laid out like three years ago and we're slowly knocking things off as well as reading other comic books. One of these was my choice and the other one was viewer's choice, uh, subscriber's choice. Okay, I believe Impact is the one I chose. Impact number three from 1955 EC Comics. And this is Uncanny X-Men 266, first full appearance of Gambit. But, uh, well, once we look, look at it, we'll try to figure out which one should be the official full appearance. This is the first full appearance in the series, numbering sequence wise. There was another appearance of this in an annual, but the story there occurs after the date of this one so it's, it's the comic book world uh officially this is considered to be the first full appearance but uh at some point i think we'll have to pull out uh, the annual i believe i do have it and take a look at that one and see which one we believe to be the first appearance of gambit we have uh i walk with monsters from vault comics 19 uh, sorry 2020 came out last year okay and we just got this in a comic book haul and we have t-man and we got this in a comic book haul and we got superman number 37 from 1945 cheryl how are you doing i hope you're doing well fun stuff comic book time comic book time definitely in a chill chill mood so looking forward to a comic book reading uh it's a it's a good break from uh, a lot of the insanity going around right and through the world of comic books and by the way genres here would be superhero superhero crime drama humor horror okay so we've got a good mix of stuff going on and that's the beauty of comic books the genre is all encompassing right all encompassing got my tea going on i'm just gonna give my intro so as we wait for people to roll in uh, i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work you want to support this work you want to know what this work is about patreon is a great way to do so okay now for those of you that were supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in these live streams twitch is where we're going to do the crack how are you doing afternoon afternoon hope you're doing well and gang thank you for the support on twitch uh by subscribing following liking commenting uh participating in the chat showing up to the live streams and mods for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor vk minds and gap if you want to follow the work, you can follow some of the announcements we make on those platforms. I almost forgot about the hour. Yeah, yeah. You guys didn't change the hour, did you? I, like, for one or some, some places have stopped changing the hour. We changed the hour. We kicked it back. Back, no, we kicked it forward an hour, like three days ago. So that threw people off. Me as well. <laughs> as well as uh twitch the automated what time things are occurring all messed up week on sunday week on sunday okay okay good day chicho yoshi how you doing i hope you're doing well welcome welcome to the live stream and for live streams where we don't have any visuals we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chicho as a podcast and that usually applies to well, there's a fair bit of stuff we're uploading there, but a lot of politics, a lot of economics, a lot of book discussions, maybe, and other types of discussions. Anything that we don't have visuals, which we do today. Okay. 
good to hear all as well my and we will be uploading this video to sensor tube to BitChute, and to rumble and odyssey our points are stuck so we're not on there we're not actively uploading there whenever we get points we'll upload there whenever that is yoshi i'm doing well i hope you and chad are doing well today doing well nice chill day here it's weird I'm, it feels like because we've been doing a lot of the comic book readings on sundays it feels like a sunday to me so i'm like in my in my sunday mindset which is weird on a weekday crack are we pushing uh for i want <laughs> i walk with monsters <laughs> this one we had to decide on let me take these things down gang and by the way gang it is because of the collective support that we're getting on all these platforms that we're able to do this so thank you very much for the support and sambazi thank you for the follow let me take this down cool every day is sunday for me i for many people i guess <laughs> and uh should i give everyone a lowdown how long we've been going for like six minutes let's give everyone a lowdown what we got let's give everyone a lowdown on what we got here for today the readings let me take these down so we're going to start off with the most recent and it's going to be we're going to do a poll on this and uh, you guys decide which one we want to read this is i walk with monsters came out last year 2020 let me do this so the glare doesn't you can see the cover i walk with monsters in sequence from the most recent okay and then we'll hit up, hit up the oldest we got we got golden age silver age um, modern age silver age and modern age uh, two golden age one silver age and two modern age okay uh, this is I walk with monsters okay Paul uh, Cornell is the writer for this okay I got my notes all laid out here if we end up choosing this I'm gonna read a little bit of the write-up that uh, Paul wrote for the intro to this okay so Paul uh, Cornell is the writer he's from the UK uh, Sally Cantarino is the artist and she's from uh, the United States and the colorist is dear dear La Kelly and she's from Ireland so super cool collaboration three different countries okay and Paul uh, has done some comic books before but he's his main gig I believe is more for television he's done stuff for Doctor Who who else um some tv shows and whatnot coordination uh street and stuff so he does work in the uk for in tv and he's done some comic books sally is more new to the comic book industry she doesn't have too many stuff to her credit and uh kelly is also sort of dabbles in comic books but she does other other work as well so it's a collaboration between um creators that are sort of their main gigs is outside of the comic book industry uh and i picked up this comic uh when it first came out but we ended up picking this up in a comic book haul all the variant number ones and i'll show you go show you those covers as well if we end up picking this okay first time chat catching a chicho stream ah garn garn gangrel gangrel gn grill <laughs> I can't pronounce names man <laughs> my apologies 76 how you doing <laughs> catching a stream I'm expecting some Sandman comics tomorrow so this is very fitting oh you're expecting Sandman tomorrow nice what did you get which Sandman did you pick up uh, yeah Superman Superman this one X-Men number 266 first appearance of this dude right here first uh, considered to be the first full appearance of gambit okay important book in the comic book world important character and uh chris claremont is a writer for this chris claremont uh, one of the greatest writers in comic book history no doubt no doubt and as far as i'm concerned the greatest x-man writer okay i haven't read all of 
the writers for X Men, but uh, there are there are segments where some people have written X Men books that those stories are phenomenal. However, in terms of canon, laying down the foundation of the X Men and who the X Men have become, Chris Claremont is it. Okay, Preludes Volume One to start oh nice and that the high cost of living awesome very excited excellent we've done their first reading uh we did the reading for sandman the Braid, the first appearance of uh what do you call it the death right and that's the last issue that should be in that volume one i believe unless it's, you're talking about omnibus regarding sandman so man you're in for a treat and a half sandman is amazing and i've still yet to finish the whole series i gotta read the whole thing from beginning to end again uh, death is great death is great love death oh my god first time in here hello chicho your math lessons are the best thank you my pleasure you for eq my comic book readings i've heard are not bad either even though i pronounce a lot of names crack i just read a chris claremont written savage sort of conan story it was fantastic which issue uh crack i don't know if i've read claremont conan I gotta get my hands on that that the high cost of living was a great read it was a fantastic read fantastic read I really like the character death 2020 1990 okay X-Men and then we go back in time Gina how are you doing love me some gambit the gambit is awesome <laughs> I I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up his accent and I won't even try I don't think impact number three from 1955 EC comics I love this cover this cover is fantastic I love it candy cigars cigarettes lemonade 15 cents lemonade big glass five cents small glass three cents she's undercutting <laughs> they do it in the store so I was sort of uh, sort of shoot number 74 man I must have read it okay I gotta keep that in mind if I haven't read it I gotta I gotta track it down I gotta track it down does he have a southern accent yeah he's got a southern accent he's very Chavonier like he's a character he's a character he's a character okay and beautiful cover and this is EC comics okay this is the second issue of impact that was in the comic code code approved uh, rollout right so impact number one didn't have the comic code approved uh, sticker on it impact number two started it and this is impact number three okay 1955 so first year of Silver Age comics okay so right on the cusp basically and the people that contributed to this are some of the legends in comics uh feldstein um, who are some of the people uh reed crandall uh, Ma uh, mary severin did most of the colors for this al feldstein uh jack davis jack game and uh graham ingles so those are the people that have worked on this and this is going to be fantastic read and we've read uh, mad number three i believe we read so we've got one ec humor comic under our belt and we got some sci-fi and horror comic ec comic book readings under our belt louisiana cajun cajun indeed creo creo accent yeah like in the movie like, yeah like in the movie but i don't think the movie did as good of a job uh i, I think gambit could be portrayed much much better this is t-man number three from 19 when did this come out 1952 okay 1952 and this is a recent comic book haul that we did we picked this up uh, a couple of months ago and we got a dirt cheap dirt dirt cheap okay we got it for ten dollars canadian which is eight dollars us and it's graded at like four very good and the reason I really wanted this book was because of this death trap in Iran right pulsating P 
Pete Trusk thriller. Okay. So sort of like spy, drama, crime stuff. Okay. Will be a fun read. T-Man. Where do I buy most of my comics? Um, the older comics, lots I buy from eBay. And uh, I have a pull list at my local comic shop uh, that I pick up every Wednesday. So I pull modern comics and I buy older issues on mainly on eBay. And because of the lockdowns, you know, there haven't been any comic book conventions, shows. So I have gone to shows a fair bit in my life and bought comic books at shows and stuff too. But my main two buys are my local comic shop uh, through my weekly pull list as well as special orders for sure as well as ebay okay when i read about the negativity surrounding the film portrayal i decided not to watch it gambit is very close to my heart and i didn't want it ruined wait a second so the gambit movie didn't come out but we're talking about the gambit uh, the person that was portrayed gambit with wolverine right is that what we're talking about hello how are you sam Benzi, how are you doing Gina, is that correct? I knew they're they're in production for a Gambit movie, but it's on hold. And it, as far as I knew, it hadn't come out the Gambit movie. And if it has, let me know. I'm definitely gonna watch it. But yeah, I'm talking about the one that was uh, in the Wolverine in the X Men uh, movies. It was, yeah, it could have been a lot better. <laughs> and. We got ourselves golden age superman okay this is superman number 37 1945 this is the oldest superman in my collection okay it hasn't come out yet okay cool sambazi i'm very very happy we found out today that my name is cancer my my mama is cancer free awesome awesome oh wow that superman looks nice yeah awesome congrats man and congrats to your mom fantastic really uh that that kind of thing when you're going through it uh puts the world and life into perspective right and this is uh graded at around uh, five five point five that's what i bought it at as right i haven't professionally graded or anything but uh and the seller i buy from he grades fairly you know uh this was a local seller that was selling this on ebay uh and he's a store so when he says uh five five point five i would lean towards the lower end five okay so i would say and on the worst case i would say 4.5 but it's okay and i paid the uh, this was definitely the most expensive one of the lot uh, i believe i bought this for around 200 dollars canadian okay and this is superman and uh, this one is the the people working on it are alvin schwartz ed uh, dobrak dobraka uh, george rosos inked it stan kane um, don carmen whitney ellsworth i got all the names written here sam citron right and jerry siegel is supposed to be in this too and i, I believe it was weird i was looking this stuff up alvin schwartz is sort of credited with doing this but signing it uh joe schuster and stuff so through the golden age of comics it's difficult uh to track down uh who did some of the works for these because there was ghost writers ghost artists and stuff like this where people were signed their names and some of the stuff that the art has been a credit to these people and those people is because of people looking at the artwork being familiar with the artwork of a certain artist and saying okay this has to be this person right so they reference it so it's interesting at some point i think it'll sort itself out slowly right at the superman this is 1945 this is 1945 crack uh cracks asking what did you say the year of the superman is uh gangrel 76 nothing beats that classic comic book art style yeah it's beautiful right it's it's got that colorful innocent feel to it to a certain degree uh, 
I have a super map from that year. Nice. April for me. Oh, look at that. Nice. Gina. Ah, yes. I think I read negative about the selection of the main cast. Still wouldn't watch. You still wouldn't watch, Gina. Yeah, I, I, I feel you. I feel you. The characters, some of the characters, if you really love, it'd be hard to watch them being brutal, brutalized, really. Like Punisher was one for me a, couple, a few years ago when it came out. Kenny Roberts, nice. Did you see my Batman? As, uh, Kenny, you put that in the art. Were you drew the Batman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really good on our Discord page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really good. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice copy. It's got staining or shadow up here, and I flipped through it when I first got it, and it's a pretty good copy. Like I'm thinking about sending this to be graded after we read it, of course, right? After we read it. Hey, Chicho Plutarino, how are you doing? Then yes, nice, nice, Kenny. It was a good Batman. Ah, nice. Right on time. Right on time. So, gang, we got choosing to do. What do we want to read? What do we want to read? And by the way, I had a hard time choosing which comic books to present here. So, there's a there's. I put more back in the box. Okay, I put more back in the box, but there was three four four comic books i pulled here and there they were from um a recent comic book haul one of them was something that crack recommended this is wild dog he mentioned that the artist that worked on this was one of his favorite artists and i haven't read this is this is wild dog i haven't read wild dog uh and the artist was not familiar to me so i pulled this out because i'd like to check it out as well okay so as soon as we finish one of these i'm going to introduce one of these ones in there okay actually two of them are going to go in for sure uh, maybe all of them <laughs> there's four books i got here wild dog is one okay then we got kung fu fighter we got into the kung fu fighter okay because we got a kung we got a few kung fu fans uh in our midst one of them is me one of them is elder god <laughs> right so and this is the first appearance of uh kung fu fighter so it would be great to read it and by the way these are the comics four of the comics out of the 13 that had a hard time finding their way to us right we went through like two it was on the third shipment that the comic book seller sent to us i had to contact them go through even finally get those 13 books that's the reason i pulled out these four i'm like man these books had a really long long uh track to make it to us right so might as well pay him some respect and have some <laughs> readings right so wild dog okay kung fu fighter right and this will be fantastic right dragons you redeem ten thousand points <laughs> oh my god don't forget we will do auctions at some point brother but thank you for redeeming the points man awesome 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 poll ready two minutes three minutes not ah, two minutes uh cheryl two minutes I actually recently re read Neil Gaiman's Eternals miniseries. I'd recommend to people who like their superhero sci-fi mix. Definitely for fans of Green. Oh, really? Awesome. And gang, if you're not if you're not watching it, I highly recommend watching uh, American Gods. Neil Gaiman's American Gods. It's based on the book and the comic books were out. It's a good series. Artists and writer team on both are uh, uh, excellent. They did a great series called uh mystery well worth hunting down okay cool i think i know mystery the cover of world Dog is made it is it is ah i don't even know what that means dragons <laughs> uh, uh, dragons do you want to hold on to your points i don't have to redeem them i can return them to you let me know okay and send me a reminder on discord that way i won't redeem them and i'll just go that's cool you're okay for redeeming them uh okie dokie say when okay lady cop first appearance of lady cop we looked at the first page of this and it looks super cool uh, it'd be cool to read and people mentioned that we must take back the name isis <laughs> right so isis number one maybe we do this one we see i have 15.4 k built up for the next auction ah nice crack awesome gang let me have a sip of tea Cheryl you ready with the poll so dragons 
do you want me to redeem uh give the points back yeah i still have thirty thousand. okay okay poll has started gang we got five choices i walk with monsters x-men impact t-man superman cast your vote we got impact with one vote okay these things are mylar so they're sticky we got one vote for uh i walk with monsters x-man and impact we got a three-way tie right now the golden age comics are sticking in the background poor superman i walk with monsters got two votes right now x-men one impact one and superman's coming up with one vote as well we're slow polling today oh three votes for i walk with monsters two votes for superman three votes for superman wow 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 impact is going up to two votes x-men is at one we got superman with four votes golden a superman coming in he was just playing with us man we got x-men going up to two votes we got four for superman we got five for superman three for i walk with monsters and two votes each for impact and x-men first appearance of Gambit, we got six votes for Superman. Superman was just joking with us. <laughs> Superman was just playing us. Oh, I walk with monsters goes up to five votes. Look at this. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I walk with monsters and Superman are. Oh, oh no, it didn't go. I'm just playing with you. It's six votes Superman, five votes I walk with monsters, two votes apart for Impact and X Men. Which one are we going to go with? Which one are we going to go with? We're down to the last 45 seconds or so. Oh, we got T Man going up by one. You know what? I'm throwing my vote for T Man. Poor T Man sticking there by himself. T Man's got two votes now. T Man's tied with Impact. And we got X Men is up to three votes. Superman is at six. We're in the last second, last second, last second. That's it. We're going with Superman Gang from 1945 the oldest superman comic in my collection right awesome 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 let's check this out let's check this out let's put these guys here and golden age comics i love the link like the width of golden age comics they're bigger right let's take a look this is modern and silver they're smaller you're losing about this much right check it out cool 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 let me close up this pole Doop. poor t man i know poor t man no respect no respect for propaganda <laughs> i'm not voting as there is no kung fu ah elder god that's the only isis I have, I have room for but check this out uh gangrel 76 auto mod didn't allow isis right zapped isis i'm gonna allow that so gangrel 76 is saying that's the only isis i have room for in my life haha <laughs> indeed right and auto mod that's the whole thing with this is a perfect example of automation right uh smart technology and machine learning some of these things and censorship and all this stuff Automod doesn't understand, can't distinguish between this ISIS and the other ISIS. So it can't distinguish the fact that we're talking about comic books and there are other characters like that out there in the world, mythology and otherwise, right? So that is the problem with a like one of the main problems of what's taking place uh, in technology right now, in the world right now superman never loses i guess never shirtless pal how are you doing nice pick craig says cool jim lee didn't draw that x-men anyway no jim lee didn't draw the x-men no no and jim lee's x-men is pretty good the art wise uh, fantastic i do love it super super good right super super good is this from a different series uh, as action yeah this is the superman series it's not action comics action comics is the original superman series right that came out in 1938 1938 was the first uh, action comics number one and i believe superman crack correct me if i'm wrong 1940 or 39 either a year or two years later superman started uh, we can do a, we can do a 
reverse calculation, just do the math. This is 1945, right? So this is number 37, and these would have come out every month. So 30, uh, 37 divided by 12, so we're talking, um, what is that, times three is, uh, so that's three years, right? So 42? The Superman uh, start in 42? There's a band called Isis as well from way back. Oh, is there a crack? Oh, maybe that rings a bell as well. How's it hanging, Chicho? Felix, doing well. Welcome, welcome. Haven't been on a live for a while. Glad to have you. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange Wikileaks playlist on Sensor 2. Crack. Oh, geez. Sorry, Chicho. I didn't know much about Superman at all. Oh, you don't? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, Superman number one would have come out, I want to say 1939, but I, I guess it's going to be later, 1940s. Right? This one is 1945, this issue. So, gang, I'm going to have a sip of tea. One year. One year later, Action Comics came out. Oh, Superman came out. 1939. Okay, yeah. So, 1939 is uh, Superman series. Action Comics was 1938. Cool. Debs, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another live stream. So, just one year later. And here's the price difference. Action Comics number one, first appearance of Superman. Last one that I know of, 9.2 or 9, sold for 3.2 million. Okay. Superman number one in that grade sells for probably maybe pushing a million now, I believe. Okay, 1939 is what I got when doing a search. Okay, summer of 1939. Okay, awesome. Both June, so exactly a year later. Very cool gang i'm going to turn off notifications uh and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i'm not catching them all and they won't be popping up on the screen uh but um i think we're just going to immerse ourselves in the reading okay Danite, how you doing welcome welcome gang i'm turning off the chat we'll come back on after the reading okay i'll keep my eyes on the chat as well just in case i misread stuff and whatnot and i'm going to turn off this camera okay and the sun is slowly shining i'm going to take off my toque because the sun is shining it's getting hot you're doing good danny tay awesome cool okay how are we doing for time we're about 30 minutes in Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. We are doing a reading for today. Live stream reading of Superman number 37 from 1952. Okay. And this is the oldest Superman comic in my collection. One of the old, oldest comic books in my collection. I I believe I do have some comics in the early 1940s, maybe late 1930s. Uh, none, nothing related to Superman or Action Comics. So this is the oldest sort of DC superhero comic book that I have in my collection. And I picked this up recently in the last few years. And um, the person I picked it up from graded this thing at 5, 5.5. 5. Uh, 5. So uh, very good, fine fine minus and uh i would tend to agree with them i did flip through this when i first bought it so uh, it's a nice book and i'm glad we're reading it because i'm actually thinking about sending us to be graded but aside from that little quick little lowdown let's take a look at the cover and what i want to do actually i'm going to take this off out of the mylar and just let you know who some of the creators are that have worked on this Take this out. 
Now this is DC Comics, right? Obviously. And uh, the cover for this is pencils is by Wayne Boring and the inks is by George Russos. Okay. And this character here is the prankster, I believe. I don't know the prankster. I think this is going to be the first time I'm ever reading a story about the prankster. And I really don't even know how uh, what the oldest appearance of the prankster is it looks like a badass he puts tnt in a box what superman's amazing x-ray vision reveals right look at that superman's not happy about that but he does have a grin right a gift for me no thanks prankster you keep it now i don't know if this is the first appearance of the prankster but I'm assuming it should be the first appearance of the prankster and the other people that have worked on this are Alvin Schwartz Ed Dobrat Dobrotka okay George Rosos as I said he's done a lot of inking on this uh, Dan Carmen uh, Stan K Whitney Ellsworth Sam Citron so I wrote all these names down and uh, Jerry Siegel is supposed to work worked on this too and what I found out is weird. I'm not 100% sure on this, but it says here, everything that I found out was Alvin Schwartz was the artist for the first story and Don uh, Carmen was the artist for the second story and whatnot. But they were supposed to be signed as Jerry S uh, Siegel and Joe Schuster, the creators of Superman so what i'm gathering is alvin Schwartz was probably the ghost uh, artist for this um or writer for this and then just signed it as jerry siegel uh, or joe schuster right uh, it's interesting um i'd love to sort of dig down into the golden age of comics a little bit more to uh <laughs> mural to dig down into the history but i think that's going to require reading one two three or five five books or something on the subject and this is a nice great copy now we're not going to flip through this thing uh, because we're just going to read the stories but let's look at the back cover as well lighter moments with fresh everyday batteries by war bonds huh check that out ever ready not every day ever ready wow ever ready was around back then with batteries ever ready ignition dry cell look at the battery on that thing eh? which one of you guys is cutie pie huh huh who's cutie pie maybe the guy with the red hat ever ready what does that say let's take a look I'm having a hard time focusing there we go let's get the jab let's get the jab and get it over what ready number six dry cell continues to provide uh, dependable power for the vital field telephone equipment of our armed forces but you'll be glad to know they are available in increasing quantities for civilian use fresh full powered long lived as always ask for them at your dealers now the registered trademark ever ready and ignition uh, distinguished products of national carbon company incorporated cool and this is 1945 just coming out of world war ii eh? very cool i mean seriously the history of this thing is insane insane 52 page magazine right nice clean artwork right nice 
of the spine. So if we send this over grading, let's see what this will come back as, right? Take a look at it. And tomorrow we're going to do some comic book gradings. And I'm not a professional grader, so we'll pull up the the page where you know from a website where they say what should be graded as what, and we'll see what we can do about it. So, gang, let's go through this. What is this? thing up here B is for beaver who chews trees and bark but when he's real chewy he looks for this mark a Superman publication Batman Batman it's Batman ad on the cover of Batman for example it's your guarantee of the best of any comic magazine Batman it's this seal that they're talking about right there a superman publication dc comics right and we have that thing here as well right there we go they're talking about this guy right there a superman publication november december 10 cents so this is spanning two months right that's why when we did the math we should double what it's going back as right so six years right if it's coming once every coming out once every two months superman comics i didn't realize that so 36 divided by 12 is three multiplied by two that's six and this is 1945 so superman comics came out in 1939 very cool very cool let's read this as well editorial advertise uh, advisory board superman dc comic magazine dr loretta bender associate professor of psychiatry 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 school of medicine new york uh, wow university pearl s buck author the good earth the promise etc winner 1938 nobel prize president the state and west association association joseph frank consultant on children's reading child study association of america wow best b lane educational director united parents association dr c bowie millican department of english literature new york university what they have all these people on their board of directors advisors dr ww D songs they probably just paid him a little bit of money to have you be able to put their names on here right professor of education and director of circulation study University of Pittsburgh dr. Robert Thorne Dyke Department of Educational Psychology Teachers College Columbia University calm I don't know what calm would stand for uh, calm Jean Tooney USNR former world's heavyweight boxing champion member executive board new york, new york boy scout foundation wow commander i guess commander gene tooney wow the following magazines all bear the trademark as you your guarantee of the best best in comic reading action comics adventure comics all funny comics batman boy commandos buzzy detective comics leading leading comics more fun comics real screen comics star spangled comics superman world's finest so those are all the publications that dc comics was putting out at that time cool that's super cool let's read the fine print on this Superman number 37 November December 1945 published bi-monthly by Superman Incorporated uh, 430 Lexington Avenue New York 17 New York FW Ellsworth editor re-entered a second-class matter June 20 25th 1940 at the post office at New York, New York, under the Act of March 3rd, 1879, yearly subscription in the U.S. 75 cents, including postage, 
entire contents copyright 1945 by superman inc for advertising rates address richard a, a. felden k and company 420 haha 420 lexicon and avenue new york new york 17 new york except those who have authorized authorized use of their names the stories characters and incidents mentioned in this periodical are entirely imaginary and fictitious and no I, identification with actual persons living or dead is intended or should be inferred printed in the usa very cool that's pretty cool i don't think we've seen uh, like a board of directors editorial advisory board like this right and this is pre uh comic code right so they were really trying to make sure their products were g-rated right so gang should we do a reading of superman number 37 let's go through this and there is a uh, there should be four stories in this three main ones and a two pager okay right so let's take a look at this thing it's weird uh, just gonna give you this oh there's the name right there okay let's read through this because the names of the stories here from what I could find online are the first one is the uh, dangerous dream the second one is pranks for profit and then crime in the art studio and then the rubbish robbers right and the name of the story is right there I thought it was supposed to be up here but it's not so let's take a look at this thing Superman Superman dream cinema now playing illusion in Tibet by Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster trust the mirror was trippy super fun Strange indeed is the stuff of dreams, but stranger still is the perilous reality which brings Superman to the endangered dreamer's rescue. But when the man of steel turns his Ill illimitable, illimitable genius to steal to to sight, it's so difficult to read when the lines are going sideways. Uh, where does it say? Da, 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 da. But when the man of steel turns his Elaine in Ill, illimitable genius to psychology in order to restore Johnny Frey's shattered morale, it leads to the unexpected trouble for Clark Kent. Nothing but a climatic clash with crime can then dispel the ex policeman's resentful reaction to the dangerous dream Ta -ta. is that like clark kent in the ticket booth selling tickets looks like it so superman selling tickets to his own show is this is this the dream sequence the beginning of the dream sequence maybe not let's check it out night extra planet velvet gans gang slips through police net police johnny frey resigns after mob escapes him no reason given for action of former cop hero impossible why should johnny frey resign 
uh, the force meant everything to him Clark thinks or says Frey came out of the hospital only two weeks ago after being wounded in a gun battle well he took three uh, desperados single-handed Clark says yes there's no doubt about his courage He's refused to talk to reporters, but maybe he'll talk to me. We're pretty good friends, Clark says. Well, go see him. There may be a story in it. I'm assuming that's Clark's editor. Boss, that afternoon, it's Clark Kent, Johnny. I'm not talking to the press, press Clark, but come on in. There's Johnny. How about telling an old friend why you resigned, Johnny? I know I can trust you Clark besides if I don't talk to someone I'll go crazy but if you ever blab Johnny says he's reading a lot of books um I'm yellow Clark plain yellow I could have nabbed the velvet gang but ever since I was hurt in that gun battle my nerves become gone my nerves been gone that's why i didn't want to force uh, to find out oh he lost his nerve now now i lie around reading these adventure books to stimulate my courage in my sleep i dream i'm a hero of the stories every night i do it funny isn't it me the daring johnny frey i'm sorry johnny terrible story clark says Is that a picture of himself in the background in a suit yeah looks like it afterwards afterwards as Clark leaves what a tragedy reading and dreaming and 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 too proud to tell the world what's happened to him if only dreams could come true and why shouldn't they yes why not Clark's got an idea with the help of Superman he says there he is reading a book on Tibetan travels and half asleep already eyes oh, on the windowsill or outside anyway asleep at last now not let's run through this book and examine the stuff that dreams are made of as far as reading the book 500 pages reading time 10 seconds for superman hmm it's going to be some job job setting the exact scene and getting the uh, paraphernalia but i think i know where to go he says I've done some pretty big favors for the Metropolis Museum. The curator be glad to provide me with what's needed. Later, <laughs> like a Superman <laughs> grabbing all the stuff. Later, gracious, what a load! Are you sure you have everything? Yes, and thanks to the museum, you've been a great help. Superman says, and this abrupt, as it may seem ends the first part of our story well, it ends the first part of the story it's going to continue after like a oh so he goes and sets this up look at this look at this so we end here and we black out and here we go But we resume our tale two hours later to find a strange beast howling outside the skin hut somewhere in the mysterious recesses of mountainous Tibet. Arr, some animal growling. I'm assuming it's supposed to be a wolf. While inside the hut, roused suddenly 
from slumber is John Johnny Frey. That shriek, it was like, oh, where am I? What am I doing here? This tent is vaguely familiar, of course. That picture of the interior of the explorer's hut in the book I was reading before I fell asleep. Surely I'm dreaming, but how real it seems. That shriek again. Why, it's just like the book where the author picked up his rifle and went outside. Holy smoke, the gun is jammed, click. But it happened like that in the book too. Dream or no dream, I've got to act fast. Now I remember, I'll do what the author did. If it fails, I'll know I'm not dreaming. It worked, it worked. So far, funny, it doesn't seem like dreaming at all. He just jumps under the wolf. Next, the author used his rifle butt this way to apply additional leverage to the dog's lead so that it, its own momentum carried it over the edge of the cliff. Oh man, he just killed the dog. It worked. Phew. The most harrowing dream I ever had. Still, I seem to get a kick out of it. Don't even want to wake up. There's Superman reading reading the book referencing it well what is all this dream or re reality perhaps a certain familiar figure crouched watchfully behind the nearby boulder can provide the answer Tibet the book says so far he's too confused to be afraid and he's going by his uh, memory of the book believing it's a dream lucky I didn't have the uh, have to interfere that beast might not have followed the script. No oh, kidding. Yes, it was Superman who set the stage, whisked the sleeping Johnny off to Tibet, jammed the rifle, and planted the uh, wild dog, exactly reproducing the conditions of the book. But now what? The next danger according to the book would be the landslide that oof landslide that oof beats and they're coming this way better investigate beats hoof beats ah, hoof beats okay no sound effects to tell us there's the hoof beats vicious looking lot probably a robber band headed towards the hut too hmm maybe i ought to stop them after all this is one of the guys from the mural inside the in front of the theater right no reason for johnny's dream to follow the book exactly this real danger should stimulate his courage as well as the one i intended to plant and meanwhile I'll keep watching in case things get too difficult. Huh. There's uh, Johnny's little hut. A moment later, wow, I'm being shot at. Lucky I fixed my rifle. So there must be fire coming at him. This didn't happen in the book, and that shot seemed real. Still, I must be dreaming. Otherwise, how did I get here? He flies back, files his rifle, fires his rifle. That's funny. They stop firing, and why are they building fires behind those rocks?
from his vantage point above. They're building smoke fires and using the wind to force Johnny into the open. Have to do some uh, something, but can't let Johnny see me yet. He's doing fine so far. There's Johnny right there in the in the smoke, right? And then there's the people right there. What's Superman up to? What's Superman up to? This vegetation should do the trick. Have to work fast though, before that smoke blindsides Johnny and makes him helpless. a job weaving the stuff into a fan is that what he's doing yeah seconds later this ought to make those bandits eat some of their own smoke he made a fast so was blowing the smoke back out to the bandits while down below cough choke can't stand this much longer cough Ah, oh, the wind is changing and the scoundrels are being choked by their own fire. Smoke themselves out and here they come, Johnny says. Oh, jeez. Here's to you, chum. Dream or no dream. I'm having fun. Oh, my God. What the hell? smacking the guy okay Johnny you don't have to worry about being yellow after that exhibition so I may as well uh, butt in now here comes Superman prancing poga dot po poga dots Superman prancing paga pagodas pagoda what is that saying Prancing Pagodas, Superman. Too bad you fellows have no no nice jails, but maybe from now on you'll stay home and be good. Boom. Wait a minute. Now I'm beginning to get it. You brought me here. You did it. You're behind all this. But why? Johnny says. Kent told me everything thinking I could help you so I made your book dreams come true and you showed uh, your old spunk again you're quite cured of fear now yeah gee I guess I am Johnny says I really did battle that beast didn't I and those robbers too yeah it wasn't it was no dream so I couldn't be yellow anymore could I no Johnny you couldn't now it's time to take you home again Superman says and returning Johnny to his room Superman departs leaving the ex-cop to pass the night in further reflection on his experience but I wonder am I really cured Johnny says or am I kidding myself after all I thought it was a dream how could I have acted if I had known it was real? Why, I'd have been scared stiff, he says. Of course, I've been a chump, cured. Baloney, Superman made a fool of me. That's all Kent's idea too. And after promising not to talk, why, I ought to knock that guy silly. By gosh. I think I will too. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> Next morning at the planet office, Clark, the Velvet Gang's been cornered by the police again. The mobs barricaded inside the old construction machine plant only two blocks from here. 
and the cops are waiting outside till dark to push them to rush them I'm on my way chief well if it isn't blabbermouth Kent about time you came out Johnny says Johnny why what do you mean Clark asks <laughs> he's pissed as <laughs> he's chasing him you know what I mean blabbering everything to Superman I may be yellow but I'm still gonna pin your ears back now now Johnny I'm, I'm in a hurry the velvet gas cornered and well so long <laughs> what a guy I'm certain Johnny's his old self again but how to prove it to him hmm the velvet gang maybe I can prove it if I can decoy him there Clark's Clark thinks or says hard to say they're not using any thinking bubbles in this look at look at him go like a scared rabbit but he won't get away from me he'll he'll cover the he'll cover the velvet gang story all right in pieces wow the guy's johnny's pissed short temper ah oh, there's the police line hey you get back want to get your your head blown off the cops are saying it can't the planet reporter he'll be killed the cop says if i figure these mobsters right they won't try shooting me not if they're clever and they've certainly shown they are okay a visitor what's he gonna do commit suicide don't shoot you sap can't you see he's alone we got more use for him uh, than bumping him off Johnny Frey what are you doing here the cops ask Clark Kent where is he he asks the crazy fool ran into ran smack into the building as if devils were after him and we can't risk rush rushing the place till dark he'll be a goner sure gosh what did I do I must have scared the poor sap silly his blood's on my hands unless I get him out okay so he's his temper is uh, subdued now now he's acting like a friend hey Johnny come back the cops are trying to stop Johnny from running in stay back man I'm not risking any lives no matter how much I like Johnny Frey He's not on the force now and if he wants to play hero it's his business we stay here till it's dark Look at the police chiefs nice mustache is that a mustache mustache what well, as Johnny plunges into the gangster stronghold just keep him up you you're gonna be waiting right there in the li in line of fire when them coppers charge that ought to slow him up soon slow him up some Clark just what I figured they do oh check this out so when they want to do thinking they're putting it in brackets right they're still using the line for speaking after this i'm not sure when they started using uh the round bubbles to portray characters thinking but as soon as it's in brackets it's a thinking happening very cool very cool just what i figured they do superman thinks and johnny aha only chance i to save him is by pulling a crazy act confuse him johnny thinks oh johnny frey alone too we can we can use a hostage like you even better reach copper i'm no copper anymore sap is this guy i'm after well sizzle me he must have been slung nutty 
He must be slung nutty. Slung nutty. Yeah, like a fox. And here's proof, uh, Johnny says. He's pulling a fast one. Look out, uh, past the. Uh, let me plug him. And then Clark's thinking, it worked. I knew Johnny tried to save me, but now Superman has to make sure Johnny won't get hurt. Here's uh, Quintain's for uh oh johnny shot him you're too slow rat then there's no sound effects in this interesting i wonder when sound effects got introduced to comics so it's a lead it's a let throwing party you want huh okay let's see how rough the velvet gang can play bam, bam, they're firing blast the guy i can't get him a line on him get a line on him he's hiding behind the machinery look at them scattering like a flock of billiard balls boom he just shot one in the back billiard balls and clark seems to have gotten away which eases my conscience take cover he thinks he's a one-man army Bam. took one guy down how many of them is there one two three four five maybe six maybe six of them so far anyway oh there's a lot more looks like it okay heave this will put put the cr uh, crusher on him so Johnny's way back here back there take a look there he is so there is how many one two three four five six seven eight nine and two on top of him he's taking on a serious gang but suddenly a mighty ally streaks into the scene of battle superman we're we're hashed uh throw it throw in the towel we're hashed throw in the towel look at this that kind of punch we're gonna take people's heads off superman and he's taking the joint apart the last sh uh, shovel full of riffraff and it'll, it'll all be over look at that and they're tommy guns nice tommy guns Pow, someone says let's see what John is doing seconds later sorry I had to bust in on your picnic Johnny but I got a tip that the velvet gang was making a stand here Superman says lucky thing too I couldn't have held out much longer Johnny says I'm only here because of that dizzy Clark Kent. I threw a s scare into him, so he lost his head and rushed in here. I had to try to save him. And you did all right too, Superman says. And Superman thinking now, now to give the cops outside the all clear signal, they slip back and be, then slip back and become Clark again. Hmm. Kent disappeared all right, but where'd he go? I still want to see him, Johnny says. Look at the way Superman just took off his leg. <laughs> That's a funny posture. <laughs> Hello, Chief. Have you seen Clark Kent, Johnny says. Now, now 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 look johnny i still say i was only trying to help you when so there you are ah huh? and clark's he's coming out of a barrel check that out he was hiding in a barrel funny 
shake, pal. I owe an, I owe you an apology. Getting Superman to help me really worked. Only it took this little uh, fracas, 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 this little fracas you got me into with the Velvet Gang to convince me. Er, uh, well, well, Kent says. What a story, what a story, Clark says. And you can also print that I'm rejoining the force. Haha. <laughs> it's welcome. You it's welcome. You you'll be it's welcome. You'll be Johnny Frey. Listen to the thrilling adventures of Superman on your local mutual station. So that was uh what do you call it? Radio show Superman. Right? So Superman radio show, I guess. Podcast. What's this? Wheaties. Oh wow, look at this. Wheaties. A commercial for Wheaties. An ad for Wheaties. Wheaties. Breakfast of champions. Look at that. Is Wheaties still around? With that mascot and Wheaties, we couldn't lose a game either. There's a mascot and the players. They look pretty skinny. Oh, this is the opposition team, I guess. Look at that. Should we read this? Let's read this. <laughs> Check this out. Here's what it takes to build a winning breakfast. Milk, fruit, and Wheaties. Famous breakfast of champions. Big flakes of rich whole wheat. Roasted honey brown. Toasted crispy fresh. Flavored just right with sweet malt syrup. That's Wheaties. And that's champion nourishment in mighty delicious form. Put in your... Put in your bid for lots of milk, fruit, and Wheaties breakfast of champions. Start eating like a real champion. Start starting tomorrow morning. What does that say? Wheaties and bre uh, breakfast of champions are registered trademarks or General Mills Incorporated. Hmm. And here's a, here's a caveat, right? They always say, Wheaties breakfast of champions with milk and fruit with milk and fruit you got to get your fruit in there that's the minerals that's the that's what you need and here's the prankster look at this guy look at this guy this is the second story let's take a look Superman Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster the joke is on you always prankster look at the smile on this guy <laughs> he's going after the money let's read the little intro to this have you a practical joker in your home in his is this, if his sense of humor is honest and he can laugh at himself when when the tables are turned well well and good but if he even faintly resembles that mocking mount mount gang mount mount bank of mischief the one and only prankster steady the story of just that begin with laughter and end in wailing perhaps you can borrow some of the tactics of superman as he invents spectacular surprises to beat the clowning crime king at his own game pranks for profits that was a mouthful what has he got in there money jewels coin bills pearls
there are many odd stories to be to be called from a great city like metropolis for example lois lane's latest nice feature yarn you've written about some of our more prominent practical jokers lois i've been keeping notes on them for months clark and i've found all all kinds writing for the daily mail i believe no the joke of some of them are pretty rough for instance a alvin a alvin arnold's you say you want a race smith and you've been here 20 years sit down thank you mr arnold he says you can have a five dollar race smith after you've had a letdown in my new trick chair uh-huh ho help Ah, so he puts him on a prank chair and falls down. <laughs> Some, like Brewster Lynn, the society's playboy, will gladly take you to lunch, but I doubt if you'd enjoy it. Achoo! Whew, smoke coming out of everywhere. Ha <laughs> ha, I switched salt, uh, salt cellars. I switched salt cell cellars. That one's filled with sneeze powder. Oh, what? <laughs> what an eel. And yet another Dexter dreams for, for example, do, do the world a service by taking the conceit out of people. Yes, indeed. I bag these specimens in the heart of darkness, darkest Africa, at tremendous personal risk. You don't say, he says. Exhibit number 13, wild boar stuffed with self-conceit. Hmm. Okay, the golden age jokes. <laughs> You're partial to Baxter Beams because he's rushing you and throwing a big party to celebrate your birthday, Clark says. Is that so, Lois Lane replies. Why not spend less time worrying about me and more getting a story on Superman's hunt for the most dangerous of all practical jokers? The most dangerous of all practical jokers that description fits only one person the prankster ha ha the prankster laughs how nice of lois lane to suggest a new racket for me now that i've gone a w o l from the sheltering walls of state prison ah, his escape from prison So it is that A. Alvin Arnold receives a visit from an old, odd looking little man. P. R. Angster, professor of practical jokes, or so your card says. Have a chair, the guy says. No thanks. That's collapsing chair gag had whiskers before I did. <laughs> But I understand that you're giving a big dinner tonight. If you care to have me arrange a little prank, that would be the talk of the town for months. Go on, you interest me, he says. The little guy sitting on his desks. Evening and evening and wealthy and fashionable guests gather at the Arnold penthouse i can think of assignments i'd like better than covering this party clark thinks in the background coming in right better shut your eyes 
the brilliance of the diamonds is blinding Lois says with all the jewelry everything's shining anyway the food looks good remember Arnold's reputation and don't be surprised if if you find a frog in the soup serious spread in an alcove a weird figure watches gleefully the pranksters thinking Arnold thinks I'm using only a mild current to uh, startle them and none of them none of none of it not at all on him what a surprise he'll get I <laughs> want to shock everyone <laughs> suddenly the hum of high tension electri electricity fills the air and Arnold and all but one of his guests are literally paralyzed in their chairs oh Clark's thinking what electricity and too much of it to be funny it's knocked everybody out zapping everyone including the guy who's throwing a party the prank the rich fat cat right the only one unaffected by the current Clark witnesses the start of one of the strangest robberies of all time ha 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 this will go down in history as one of my most successful jests that's the prankster Superman thinks or I'm not Superman I'll pretend to fall under the table She's unconscious and won't see what's happening. He's looking at the Lois Lane, right? And the sooner I get her and the others away from the that voltage, the better. Let them fall. After that jolt they've had, they won't come to for an hour. Now to turn myself into Superman, Clark said, thinking. darting with the speed of a bullet superman breaks the flow of current and put a stop to all these all this nonsense uh oh quite a card aren't you prankster superman says superman oh no he's dropping all his jewelry he's collected oh he's jumping out the window trying to escape superman frankly I half expected you uh, step outside and let me show you something better make it good prankster says oh the next instant even the iron nerves of the man of tomorrow are jolted momentarily a friend of yours I believe oh he's got Lois Lane Lois how did she get out there What's he holding? Is he holding anything? Oh, look at that. It's messing with Lois Lane is gonna seriously piss off Superman. Oh my god, he let her on fire. <gasps> what a nasty dude. Look at that. A burst of flame and a slim figure plummets towards the street far below. Wow, that's the rottenest stunt you've pulled yet. And you'll spend the rest of your life being sorry for it perhaps you'd better forget about me me and take care of her oh look at that my god what the hell down plunges superman in a in a screaming dive <laughs> look at him jump <laughs> i should have kept an eye on her if only i'm in time Oh no. She must be terribly burnt, perhaps killed. And then as he smooths 
uh, smothers the flames he finds himself the victim of what a more diabolical joke huh only a wax dummy but it was a rotten trick just the same oh I'm so glad he didn't light Lois Lane on fire <gasps> so it's a Lois Lane dummy wax dummy meanwhile ha 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 nearest getaway I ever planned and Superman will sure be burnt up about it even if Lois Lane isn't serious joke Oh, he's going after the next guy the following day in the home of Dexter beams so you're Ajax wild an animal trainer what can you do for me look at his mustache now knowing how you dislike that phony big game hunter uh, char charmers lay I thought that tonight at your birthday party for mrs. Lane thought that tonight at your birthday party for mrs. Lane oh, he's telling the plans let's see what it is speaking of birthday parties here's Clark a little later shopping for a present for Lois jewelry 37 haha -ha. this is Superman number 37 right and there's 37 right there Superman 37 cool Easter egg Easter egg sort of not really Superman's thinking I can't afford as expensive a present as beams will probably buy but she ought to like one of those uh, compacts and by an odd coincidence the disguised prankster is about to follow suit pranksters thinking there's Clark Kent who has uh, written so many uncomplimentary things about me since he's undoubtedly buying a present for the bothersome Lois uh, from the bothersome lame girl perhaps I should do so too and get even with both prankster says or thinks right. that night another gay crowd gathers this time in the beams town house in the beams town house are these the presents for mrs lane i'll just put mine with the others wow Lois lane is having a huge birthday party pranksters thinking Here's my chance to switch the packages. Oh, what's he gonna do? May I have the next dance, Miss Lane? I asked her first. Oh, she's surrounded by men. Clark's in the background thinking, I probably won't even get within hailing distance of her. As usual, Charmers Lay is busy telling heroic stories about himself. And as the three tigers leaped, I drew my hunting knife. Oh, the other guy's yawning, knowing that it's all just lies. He always hunts from a tower, with the natives driving the game past within uh, easy range. Watch him show, watch, watch me show him off. That should be interesting, Clark says. You've all heard about Lay's prowess. Now, if you'll step into the next room, I'll show you the big game of bag. You a big game hunter? Preposterous, the guy says. My trophy room, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting. If only you had some trophies. The lay person. I don't stuff them I bring them back alive and in cage and in case you're thinking of leaving lay the door 
you came in uh, came in by is locked it's got tiger lion or polar bear a lion a bear a jaguar jaguar the man is insane lion a bear and a jaguar okay I guess that's a jaguar oh Clark I'm afraid Lois Lane says so am I but I'm glad to note that you haven't forgotten me entirely <laughs> Why don't you do something heroically? What? The guy's insane. It may be a joke, but I don't feel like laughing, Clark says. Help, police. Oh, look at this. Roar. Everybody's hiding on their tables. A moment later, Ajax Wild, if you're an animal trainer and these are feeble old circus animals, why are the why all the protection <laughs> that's his protection from the from the animals <laughs> funny well, it looks like something that's going on right now with plastic coating around it because my friend uh the laugh is on you these are really wild beasts man killers everyone what cars like prankster you are climbing bookshelves however if you all toss your valuables down to me I'll leave you this uh, high-powered rifle it'll give you a chance what a fool I've been the guy says a shower of jewels and well-filled wallets rain down on a grinning villain thank you ladies and gentlemen you're very kind he says oh Clark can't you do something me Clark asks and then he's thinking if only I could switch to Superman without giving away the secret of my identity but the grim jest is not yet ended and now to show you my appreciation let my presence a present present you with a beautiful specimen of the rhinosaurus family he's got a rhino in there the most dangerous animal alive it's murder the guy says wait you promised to leave the rifle did i ha 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 happy birthday miss lane and good night all you'll pay for this this when superman hears about it lois says i swear that's not a jaguar that's a tiger most ill-tempered of beasts and one of the most powerful the bewildered rhino shakes his head and charges he'll wreck the place kill us all and it's your fault beings Clark's thinking I've got to get out and fast that window he's looking at the skylight I didn't mean to have things turn out this way he says Clark Kent if you leave me here I'll never speak to you again Lois says sorry Lois but someone has to get help Clark's out the window out the skylight once outside Clark changes in a twinkling to Superman and meets a jeering foeman. The joke's on you again, Superman, whether you know it or not. You're needed too badly inside to bother with me just now, the prankster says. Look at him swirling his mustache. Laugh while you're able, prankster. You won't be away far away by the time. I finished this little ch this little chore a split second later so Clark Kent wasn't kidding when he uh, went down the street yelling that a mangry was loose in here 
Superman, I was hoping you'd come. I thought you never would. That's Lois's silhouette saying that. I was hoping you'd come. I thought you never would. A mountain of bone and muscle hurls towards the man of steel. Playful fellow, isn't he? Careful, Superman. A scene then kill elephants Bam, punches them elephants did you say if there are any around bring them on Bam. Superman tosses the stunted animals into their cages and then excuse me but I have a date with a laughing hyena Wait for me, Superman, Lois says. High above the city, Superman's telescopic eyes scan the streets until they spy. Prankster's car about to enter that garage. High time someone played a joke on him for a change. Moving with the speed of light, the man of steel lifts the garage room garage from his foundation. Ha ha, I could have sworn the garage was there, but it isn't. That's prankster in his car. Only Superman could do that. I'd better get out of sight fast. Ah, oh, there's Superman thinking, got him worried now. But I'm not through yet. Away, oh, he isn't following me. If I can only get to oof, he rams into the telephone pole. Not a soul in sight. I don't like this, the prankster thinks. It's like a nightmare, only I'm afraid it isn't one. The prankster is in trouble and he knows it. Fun, isn't it, prankster? Even if I have to repair the damage to property later, Superman says. I knew it was you all the time. Ha 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 ha. You didn't fool me for a minute, the prankster says. Superman postures crazy. In the meantime, Beam's guests have quieted down and Lois finally unwraps her presence. A compact from Clark, wasn't that sweet of him? And then the guy who's throwing the party who likes Lois. I bought her pearls, but she's more excited over a simple little gift from that reporter. see oh there's a prank in there pranksters prank oh suddenly wonder what's inside poof ho 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 a trick compact everybody's laughing you don't need a powder puff it explodes in your face ha ha the police department gets a surprise package also mind if i hang up a bag of worn out tricks uh sergeant oh i'll be hanged if superman hasn't caught the prankster droll isn't it ha 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 ha, ha. he's still laughing the prankster obviously he's insane and clark is on hand to cover the story almost immediately i hear you've got prankster sergeant i'll make it'll make a great story for the daily planet if it's true 
I don't know how new how you newspaper lads find out things so fast, Kent, but you can see for yourself who's hanging around. Look at the prankster, he's still laughing. <laughs> totally insane. Totally insane. The next minute. Any word on Superman's hunt for the prankster? What? You? That's Lois. Oh, it looks like her face is, face is red. Maybe that's the coloring. She's mad as, very mad. Never mind, Lois. I've got the story. And isn't there too much powder on your nose? <laughs> Everybody's still laughing. You've got a lot of nerve to speak to me after giving me that compact. I should have, should think you'd had enough of prank practical jokes. Ah, Superman doesn't know what's going on, or Clark Kent doesn't pranksters laughing. Ah. I always manage to have the last laugh. Ha 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 ha. That's like the Joker in a weird way. It'll be your last laugh, all right, in public. But Lewis, I don't understand. The end. Clark doesn't know what's going on. I wonder who came first. I'm pretty sure Joker was around before the prankster. Like, I don't know. I haven't looked into the the original the first appearance of the prankster and the first appearance of joker uh first appearance of joker happens in uh, detective comics but i believe it's in the 1930s uh, number wise and 40s so i'm pretty sure the joker appeared before 1945 if this is the first appearance of the prankster what's this guy this is a one-page story what is this Oh, this is just an advertisement. Volt, Volto from Mars. Volto, another cereal. Look at this. Volto from Mars. Volto's out of this world. Magnetic powers conquer a fiery inferno in the timberlands of the Great Northwest. Save Jimmy, and the save Jimmy and the Junior rangers from a tragic fate so a little story so joker was 1940 elder god looked it up for us in the live stream so joker was 1940 so the prankster this is 1945 so five years later but i don't know if this is the first appearance of the prankster say this is great think i'll take some up to mars <laughs> great nut flakes prankster was 1942 elder guys doing checks for us also so prankster came out two years after the joker great nut, nut flakes whole grain general foods again cool. there's a little bit of foxing i believe there's a little bit of foxing right there right the browning happening but not much and this is the centerfold and the staples are really nicely in take a look I don't know if this is gonna focus there you go right. the book is in really good condition great condition and there's a little text story here wow gang we're almost into two hours look at this what have we got left here we got another story of lois lane and this is we got two more stories still i think we're not going to get a chance to read these look at the artwork in this pretty nice let's just flip through the rest of this 
can't see so there's one more story which is like a how many page story one right and what's this story called girl reporter so this is a Lois Lane story girl reporter Nice artwork, clean, very clean. Let's see if we can focus. And the color is really nice on this. Here's an advertisement for bite a honey, <laughs> bite a honey. <laughs> need a bit, of, need a bit of honey, bit of honey. I do. I want some honey. I don't, this is this is no longer around. I've never seen it anyway. Bit of honey, too bad. I would have bought this when I was a kid, when I ate garbage like this. Daffy and Doodle. Daffy and Doodle. What is this Daffy and Doodle? Let's read Daffy and Doodle. Daffy and Doodle. I don't know Daffy and Doodle gosh I'll have to shave again you're always crowing about your beard doodle suppose you had to shave 20 or 30 times a day like a man I know 20 or 30 times he says I'd have to see that first to believe it okay then follow me uh-huh there he is barber <laughs> <laughs> okay that's a funny joke that's a funny joke you that's a funny joke shave 20 to 30 times a day a barber does a barber does right and he gets punched for for smarty right funny people like to laugh all funny buying comic books screen comics I don't know screen comics screen comics leading comics buzzy and all funny comics cool the symbol of your guarantee of the best in comics so this is uh, DC as well right because it's got the Superman publication DC guarantee of the best in comics as they say right here's another advertisement for Wheaties right look at this one Superman garage the rubbish robbers this story is the rubbish robbers rubbish robbers the the Lois Lane story was written by Whitney Ellsworth and the pencils by Sam Citron and inks by Stan K okay and this one this script is supposed to be Jerry Siegel possibly okay the pencils by Ed Dubro Dubrotka and uh, the inks by Stan K again and now there's a guy asking how many how many pages was this I believe this was 52 pages uh, yeah 52 page magazine right from 1945 and look at all the like you seriously because he's mentioning that you did get your money's worth out of out of these comics in the golden age and you definitely did get your money's worth out of comics in the golden age right very cool so another story uh -huh. Superman's doing a sketch of the guy
of dialogue, lots of sketchy people, like mobsters and gangsters in there. Look at that, sketchy as hell. <laughs> All right, look at that. And they're in behind bars. Superman grabs the bad guys and they're blaming each other. You had to go mess with Superman. I knew we'd wind up here. I knew it, he says. Ah, oh, shut up. I was doing fine in the laundry racket until you swiped that map and got me into all this. From now on, our partnership is dissolved. Right. The Thumb McCann. What is this? Rescued the doomed liner. Bazooka Joes. Bazooka Joes. What is this? These are shoes, I guess. Are they shoes? With his magic bazooka, sho bazooka shoes. So it's a shoe advertisement. Right? Shoes can make you a hero too. Shoo, whoosh. Look at him go. Vroom. <laughs> if only you could buy shoes like that. Thumb McCann. McCann. Boys, make sure your shoes are Thumb McCann's. I don't think this brand is around anymore. Scuffy. Scuffy the Tramp. Let's read this little guy too. Scuffy the Tramp. What does this say? Yo, what the? This is the last straw. What's going on? Oh, he was sleeping in the hay, in the straw pile, and he's uh, what is that? Raking hay. Boop. Poked him. I can't sleep anywhere without being disturbed. The drunkard said, I think. I'll just pretend to toss this rack through that window. Hey. Oh, he's he's doing what we read, remember? In EC Comics. When we were reading, was it EC Comics we were reading? Where the guy was trying to get arrested so he could get a good night's where he could get a meal. Christmas meal. But this guy was just pretending and he gets arrested, thrown in jail, and he's sleeping soundly. Cutting, cutting a log. Cool. Cool. Supermen of America. Secret message. Oh, you got to decipher the secret meshes. Okay, you code breakers. You can have a snapshot of this and decipher the secret meshes, message, whatever that says. Superman's secret message. Code, code Saturn number five. Okay. And send it here. Go back in time and send it here. Superman, CEO, care of Action Comics. Dear Superman, please and please enroll me in a member of the Superman of America. Supermen of America. I enclose ten cents to cover cost of mailing. It is understood that I am to receive my membership certificate, emblem and superman code cool and there's a little bit of you know holes in the thing here that come out through the i guess it was a sort of a scratch because there's marks on this side too so rubbed against something so that would affect the grade as well but yeah i would say this is this is a five right at least a five i was so because it's in really good condition like intact nothing's loose so that's superman number 37 apologies about not getting to read the last two stories but you get your money's worth in the golden age of comics with a 52 page magazine and now we know superman comics but published bi-monthly i don't know why i didn't uh, know that or i didn't remember that so superman comics published bi-monthly right so magazine format really okay 
aside from that uh, we'll be back we got more comics to read uh, in a future live stream for now I'm gonna go back to the last stream turn on the chat turn on the cameras and uh, just see how people enjoyed this let's turn these guys on chats notifications where is the video there's the video video and this fun that was a fun read uh, some of the sayings of having a hard time trying to get the feel for them like the words and the and the sequence of words that we're using it was throwing me off in the reading very trippy very trippy Nineteen forty five Superman, seriously. Wow, eh? Wow, wow, wow. Right out of so World War Two ended in nineteen forty five, but I can't remember which um uh, which years. So a World War Two would have already been ended because this is November, December nineteen forty five. So World War Two would have already ended. Uh, which is cool which is very cool right so this is the type of reading there was still uh, battles many battles I believe was going on trying to clear off the islands in the Pacific right so there was and obviously on the Eastern Bloc there was a lot of chaos going on uh, but the officially World War two had already ended and uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki already happened interesting interesting gang let's call the stream just a footnote I'm gonna go to the post office after this and pick up a comic book haul that came in so I might do a comic book haul later on today speedy Gonzalez style there's two of them there's one package here already that it, I was going to crack open but I didn't okay and um, I was waiting for this one and this one's already arrived if it was gonna arrive any any later than today I was gonna crack open the other one so I think we're gonna do a comic book haul uh, soonish uh, I'm gonna go to post office grab something to eat get set up and we do and it, it'll be quick it'll be like a half an hour comic book haul okay there's only four comic books uh, maybe 45 minute comic book haul okay I'm sorry if I can't narrow down the time uh, but stay tuned great stream Shijo. thank you my pleasure you for EQ gang if you want to know what this work is about I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work patreon is a great way to do so for those of you that have been supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this without a doubt without a doubt okay and if you want to participate in these live streams we're doing them on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to have a voice in which comic books to read twitch is where you want to be at gang and for those of you that are subscribing following liking commenting participating in these live streams and mods for taking care of business thank you very much for being here and Cheryl thank you for putting the polls together I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor minds gab and VK you can follow the work there and we do have a discord page you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want in the chat type an exclamation mark social and those links will pop up including our discord page and you're welcome to join us there and share information and participate in the discussion for live streams where we don't have any visuals we can uh, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and you can follow the work there uh, mainly as the discussions uh, so thank you Cheryl thank you Cheryl and we will be uploading this live stream to censor tube to bit and to rumble 
just doing that cipher are you doing it all god let us know what it is on discord <laughs> we'll take an image of the video and load it up and say trend like it looked pretty hard to me so hopefully hopefully you can do it easy peasy uh and we will have those videos up on sensor to bitchute and rumble and you can support this work on those platforms by liking subscribing sharing and if you're on sensor tube you can support this work by joining sensor tube membership and there's a button there that you can support this work with and there's a handful of you that are supporting this work through that uh, platform thank you very much for the support gang i hope you have a fantastic time tomorrow we'll be here we're going to try to grade some comics okay i think what i'm going to do i'm going to be selling some comics but i think what i want to do is send the books to be graded and have some graded comics in there as well as well as non-graded comics to sell I, i'm constantly loading up the ebay comic uh the mermaid comics that i published on ebay but i do want to generate some more funds i want to uh, get some money coming in there's a few things that i need to do uh, but the high-end books the prices for graded comics are going for a lot higher than the not graded non-graded comics and it'll be sort of an opportunity for us to do a grading send the books in get them back and see what happens right gang if you can make it tomorrow 11 a.m pdt our time same time that we did today we're going to grade comics and saturday or sunday we're going to look at minerals okay and then chicho salvio the normal chronicles and then we do investing in personal finance i hope you guys have a fantastic day everyone see you tomorrow if you can make it bye